Now that we've talked a little bit about uh, some of the advanced things in uh, object-oriented programming, specifically static and class and instance variables, um, let's talk a little bit some about the advanced ways that we can manage uh, properties or attributes um, inside of a Python class. So for example, what if you had a property uh, that you wanted somebody to be able to access but couldn't change for like the number of legs, for example, that we talked about. We didn't, we don't want people to change the number of legs of Mo's, uh, uh, Mo's legs there, right? We don't want that to be able to happen where Mo has three and somebody else has five and all this craziness going on. How do we do that? Well, let's explore that and how to do that inside of Python. So in Python, when we want to create managed properties, uh, we're going to talk about creating or defining getters and setters. And this is something that's very common in a lot of other uh, object-oriented programming uh, languages. In fact, um, in Python, you can kind of just get away with creating instance variables and class variables and start just m messing around and setting them and changing them and doing all the things in there without having to, to define what those getters and setters are. Um, on the other hand, though, uh, a lot of other programming languages, Java, for example, requires you to define a getter and a setter for every type of situation. If you need to, for the, the ability to uh, grab that value, you have to define a getter. If you need the ability for your users to set that value, you have to create a setter. And so there's a lot of freedom that Python has, but then that freedom um, comes at a cost of your users now can make changes all they want. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out a way to restrict some of the things that users can do um, by defining these getters and setters um, within that. And so we're going to use another uh, decorator. We're going to use the at property decorator and then the at um, the property name dot setter decorator. Um, and we're going to show you how that looks over. So let's switch over to our Visual Studio code and take a look at and see how that um, that would that would look. So here we have uh, another blank file, and let's talk about a situation of uh, a dog. Let, let's talk about kind of a dog. So we're going to create the class dog, um, and let's say we have a our init that's in here and um, we want to be able to define the type of dog it is so this would be something like a, a doberman or a pit bull uh, maybe a lab or a pomeranian or something like that right so we're going to do self dot d type is equal to D type, uh, meaning our, our dog type. You know, let's make this a little bit more. Right, dog type. Uh, a little bit more explicit. That's there. All right, yeah. So that's great. So, but problem here is actually the fact that um, D type or dog type can be anything like the user can pass in anything in there. So what if we wanted to restrict these to a specific set of breeds of dogs? So let's create a list of um, dog types. What's in there? All right. So uh, let's see, let's say like a Doberman, right? Or a lab. Um, or how about a Pomeranian? I hope I'm spelling this correctly. Um, so yeah, let's let's go with that. Um, we still have no way of, of restricting this. Now we could do something like this. Um, we could say uh, if dog type not in uh, allowed dog types self dot allowed dog type. Oh, let's change this to dog types. Make this a little bit more like that. Uh, then uh, we would raise a a, a value error and say, hey, this uh, 
This dog type is no good. Right? So we could do that. And then and then uh if it if it does pass, then hey, yeah, we got that good. Um that should work. That should work, right? Yeah, let's play around with that. Let's let's see how that kind of kind of works. Um, so I'm gonna drop into our IPython. I'm gonna say from scratch pad. Import our dog. That's in there. Um, and I'm gonna say, hmm, let's see, my pit bull. <laughs> I'm gonna get around this. My pit bull is equal to dog, and I'm gonna say it's a pit bull. Boom. Oh no. Pitbull is no good. Man, but I really like my Pitbull. How do I get around doing this? Ha! Let's see what happens now if we do this. So, bear with me here. Let's pretend our Pitbull is a lab. Okay? And then, now, dog type. It's a lab. But what happens when I do this? Aha, uh -huh. I have subverted you. So this is what we talk about. The fact that um, Python properties inside of uh, uh, classes can be done. Like the user can just use them however they want. And, and it's meant to be a way to have this be an easier way for people to use. So how would we restrict this? Really, really, truly restrict this um, that's, that's in there. Well, we can do um, that by doing the getters and setters that's that's in there so what we're going to do is this instead um we are going to keep this in here and we're going to change this variable to an underscore in there and we're going to say underscore dog type is is in there and we do that to indicate to both um the user and to us and say hey this is something we don't really want to to use um and and uh that shouldn't be touched Right, um, and so we're gonna keep it that way. And then now what we're going to do is we're gonna do dog type self. And we are going to wrap this with a at property decorator. Now we're going to do a return self dot underscore dog type. Okay, so now what happens here is drop back into my IPython thing from scratch pad import dog. I'm gonna say pitbull is equal to a dog of lab, right? Is equal to, or let's see, dot dog type. That's a lab. Now let's set it to equal to a pit bull. And oh no, we cannot set that attribute, right? And so we have basically said, hey, this is a, a you can't set that attribute. Like Python has put in the, the background and said, hey, this is, you can't do that. You can't make changes to that, right? Um, and, and that's how you protect it. So now you have a type that can be set at instance and you can't, uh, make any changes after that but you can still retrieve what that type is that's in there and still use that but what if we do want to be able to say say you added a a you created a a lab and then you realized you found a dog you thought it was a lab and you realized you know what it's actually a dope I, I want to be able to change that ability so we can do that still and have that setter so we can do at another um another decorator so it's gonna be at dog type so this matches the property name dot setter and then now we do dog type again this time with a value that's in there so now we can do our check and so we're going to check to make sure that this is truly good if it's not then we'll do, or if it is, then we'll do something like this. And now,
we can drop into this from scratch pad. Poor dog. My pit bull. So my dog is equal to dog. I think it's a lab. There we go. And you know what? I took it to the vet, found out it's actually a Doberman. <laughs> These dogs are so much different. Like, I don't know how I could be so stupid and not identify a lab from a Doberman. But hey, you know, let's just say, I mean, at least I didn't mistake the lab for a Pomeranian. That's that's for sure. Uh, so let's see, dog type. And you know what? It is a Doberman. I'm going to set that. And look, it worked. And now we can see dog type that it changed it in there. So what's happening in the background? Well, what's happening is we have this kind of special variable that's in here, this underscore dog type, and we're using that to actually make the changes. And then Python is, is allowing you to, or is setting this up so that when the user sees dog type, um, they are, are able to, uh, interact with this like a getter and setter. Um, and, and still use it in a way, but it's in a way that you've defined it to be in, in that way. So, um, and yeah, so that is how you use, uh, getters and setters inside of Python. So one thing though, to be aware of is in Python, there really is no super restrictions. You can always make changes. So if your user is smart enough and realizes I'm going to look at this and see um, uh, how to kind of uh, look at the different types of um, of uh, variables and, and methods, or sorry, attributes and methods that are inside of the, uh, the class, you can see, oh, well, there's this underscore dog type, right? So now I can do dog dot underscore dog type and set that equal to my pit and now my dog dot dog type is going to return pit and that didn't do that check. So one thing to be aware of is that at some point, if your users are smart enough, they are able to subvert and mess around and do this. And this is intentional for Python. This is one of those things that either you love it or you hate it. And lots of people and programmers fight about whether this is good or not, but Python does this intentionally. It's meant to be there. Um, so that you can make those dynamic changes that are, that are in there. Now, one trick that you can do again, this is not necessarily, uh, going to stop, uh, people that, from making changes, but you can actually do a double underscore that's in here. Um, and just call everything using the, the double underscore like this. And now let's see how that, how that looks. Um, so we have my lab and before I was able to, you know, make changes to my dog type by just changing to something like this, right? So naturally I can say, oh, I'm going to do double that and subvert this and say, you can't get around this but it actually um, didn't do that. Uh, so you can see it still is lab. So what's happening here, right? Um, so I'm going to start this over and do a dir on dog to inspect this. Um, and you can see that there's allowed dog types and there's a dog type and then we don't see that. Well, if we scroll up to here, we can see something very interesting that says underscore dog and then double underscore dog type. So what's happening is Python will do some kind of trickiness and add some of this stuff in there and make changes to that and then reference this that's in there. Now you don't, you as a developer only reference this as the, the double underscore dog type. Um, but what Python does is in the background is it makes the changes for you. So to try to kind of stop people from making changes. But again, if you're smart enough and realize what's going on, you can still make changes to this. 
So now we're gonna do dog dot uh, underscore dog underscore dog type like this is equal to my pit. And now you can see that that makes changes. So this is something to kind of be aware of that you do have some things in there, but in Python, you, you can always break the code. And, and at some point for you as a developer have to just kind of leave it up to the users to break their own code that's in there. So in this module, we talked about um, how to uh, prevent users uh, of your, your classes to make changes to uh, some of your properties in there by creating getters and setters um, in, inside of uh, your, uh, inside of your, your um, classes that are in there. And, and we realized that we can um, obfuscate some of our variables, but ultimately a very determined user will still come through and um, uh, make changes to there and, and have understanding that in Python code, there's really no way to truly prevent a user from doing that. But we can put some uh, limitations in place to try to help um, subvert that in, in certain situations.